Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup routine. I have switched out a lot of my products and I really love the ones that I'm using right now, so I thought it was a good time to film this video. I also get tons of comments on like my lip color and my eyeshadow, and it's all super simple. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn your notifications on, and follow me on Instagram. And let's just get into the video. I don't know why I didn't introduce this, but I'm just using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, which is my all-time favorite foundation. It's amazing. So just because I do, I am like pretty tan right now, I'm going to add some like... Um, cream contour like bronzer stick this one's for mac it's from so long ago i honestly should throw it away but i just never throw away makeup um but any like cream stick will do you can also just get like a darker foundation color and that works good too and i'm just blending that in with a damp beauty blender and i like to take my bronzing products kind of like along the bridge of my nose too just because when I get tan, I get tan in this area, so it looks natural on me. Then I'm just going to use a little concealer, and my favorite concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape. This stuff is so bomb. I do like a dot underneath my eyes. It seriously, a, such a small amount goes such a long way. I don't really understand people who like drag this underneath their eyes because I feel like their face would get so caked up. Um, but I'm just going to do it in these areas. I blend out with my beauty blender. And for those wondering about my tan, because I get that question all the time, I swear by loving tan. They're like my favorite um, self-tanner. I also have been tanning a little bit in the tanning beds. I know that's so bad, but I'm going to Mexico soon, so I just don't want to get fried when I'm there. Yeah, I use the Loving Tan Ultra Dark. And once I have all of my cream products on, I use the Airspun Original Loose face powder and I got this from Walmart it's really inexpensive it went around YouTube like a while ago so I just set everything with that I'm so excited for Mexico like my skin just needs the Sun and I don't know why I live in Minnesota like I seriously like I didn't have a choice you know and then with the same brush I'm taking the NYC sunny bronzer I honest to God have no idea where you can get this um it's like not it used to be at like Target and everything and now I can only find it on Amazon and it's like nine bucks, which is expensive for a drugstore thing. This used to be like three dollars, but it's honestly like my favorite bronzer and it's still cheaper than like some high end ones. So I just put this pretty much everywhere. Then I'll go into my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I um, blush brush, but usually I'll use like a smaller round brush and I'll just go ahead and put this in like. A little bit more in the hollows snapdragon by Becca and it looks super scary but if you use just a little it's honestly stunning my other favorite by Becca right now is songbird and it's actually the most gorgeous blush ever I'm gonna put on this and then just like a little bit of snapdragon their blushes I swear to god this one especially like you actually need it in your life just a teeny bit of the snapdragon like literally that might be too much I'm just on the apples For highlights, I'm going to use Your Skin Nude Air Luminizer in 003, and this is a stunning highlight. So I'm going to use that on a tapered brush from Sigma, and just hit the tops of my cheekbones. So I'm just using the Anastasia Brow Powder in Dark Brown, and I have a whole video on my eyebrow routine, which I'll link in the down bar. It honestly has not changed at all. I'm also using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush with that because this is the best eyebrow brush ever. So I'm just going to do that really quick and then come back. I'm just going to take my setting powder again and go over my eyelids. I have gotten so lazy. I don't use primer or anything anymore unless I'm like going out or something but not like for every day. I will use my Jaclyn Hill palette. I mix these two shades right here. You could just use like even a matte bronzer would work. The same colors underneath my lash line. Use like this darker red shade and just put it on like the very outer corners to deepen it up just a little bit. 
Then I'm going to go into my highlighter one more time. And I'm just going to pop that in my inner tear ducts. I'm just going to pop on some mascara and I'll be back for lips. I use L'Oreal Telescopic. I've been such a fan of this for years and years and it's drugstore and it's amazing. So, yeah. so now I have my mascara done and I'm going to move on to lips. A lot of times for every day, I've actually been loving the Burt's Bees Champagne Natural Lip Shimmer. I'll put just a little bit on to show you. And because my lips are really chapped. Um, but just like chapstick, but it like... See how it's like kind of sparkly? First, I'm going to be using um, MAC lip liner in Subculture. And this is just like a nude, basically your lips color. Um, NYX lip liner in Nude Truffle. Always so many comments on it and it's so cheap and it's just really great. So I'm going to go kind of on the outer edges with this. And then I'm going to fill in my lips with MAC Honey Love, which is just a standard nude lipstick. I'm going to use one of my favorite glasses. I'm super into glossy lips at the moment. So I'm using Buxom Lip Gloss in Serena. And it's like a brown shimmer. And it is so pretty. This is the finished everyday makeup look that I typically will wear. Like if I'm going to put on makeup that day. It literally takes me like 15 minutes to do if I'm in a hurry. So it's pretty good. And I'm like, whoa. Okay guys, so that was my finished video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one.